at the end, we calculate member DJ is a like zero force member. And we got a bunch of students came up uh, asking why DJ is zero. I think this would be helpful to demonstrate with a actual part of the trust, single trust, those triangle trust part, taking out from this C, D, E, J part. This blue bar will be representing member DJ. And let's take a look what's happening here. So this is our member DJ here in blue. And this is just a simple like Lego technique part I built. Now, let's start with this. If I have a normal force supporting it here, I'm just using my finger here, and providing two vertical force down at these two points. I'm not going to replace with my finger here. This won't deflate, right? It's so, because this is very rigid structure, right? This won't deflate at all. But in this scenario, does this member, blue member, let's call this blue member now, experience any forces in this member? Thinking about this joint and this joint. Who vote for no? Who vote for yes? OK, so now what about I switch it this way? I have two normal force supporting it at these two joints. And meanwhile, I'm pushing this way, vertically down at this point. Does this blue member have any forces? Who vote for yes? Who vote for no? OK, so now guess what? I'm going to remove this. And this is free to move, OK? So I'm going to go back to this triangle stage. And applying two su vertical support force at this two point at, the two point at the bottom. And I'm going to push it. Will this deflate? No, it won't deflate. So this is a zero force member. Right? With or without this member, without a direct force acting at this point, this member will have no force. And now I also have another little part here, just with more flexibility here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hang a weight at this point and holding these two joints to support it. And just to show this won't deflate. Okay, add some water here so it's not empty. Without the vertical member, it's not deflating. But as soon as I'm applying a force at this joint, it will deflate. But as soon as I replace it, it's back into balance. So that, I hope this can help you understand why the question we had at the, like, from Tuesday, why this vertical member does not have any forces. Right, so I still have two minutes. I want to do one more thing. Let's take my Lego here. Let's mathematically or mechanically going over this. Okay? My member BD in blue, I have a 10 Newton force here as a weight, one kilogram water bottle, and my two hand providing vertical forces to support this structure. Let's see mathematically or mechanically member BD is actually also zero. So what do we do for first for our trusses? We do free body diagram on the entire truss to calculate AY and CY, right? So we'll do some of FA, MA, some of FY. But this is a symmetrical structure. So um, sooner or later, you will realize you can just divide 10 by 2. You've got 5 on each. And now, what's happening in member BD? What is the quickest way to calculate a force in a member if I know which member I'm looking for? Method of joints or method of sections? Sections? Joints? Yeah, it's actually either way, because this is a very simple one. If it's joints, you can just go two steps. But my answer is method of sections. Right? If I make a cut through AB, BD, and DC, immediately my FBD is exposed. And then I'm going to apply a quick sum of moment about point C. I have FBA, no moment about C, FCD, no moment about C. Only force would potentially have a moment about C is FBD. But this structure has to be in 
equilibrium, FBD times 4 equals to 0. That gives give me FBD 0. So mechanically, it works out. Or traditionally, you can do a method of joints, going over A, C, avoiding B, and come back to point D will give you FBD, again, 0, by knowing FAD and FDC. Right? And I hope this little demonstration will help you make more sense about the zero force member thing. <laughs>